Hey everybody, welcome to another Digital Making at Home video. I'm here again with my partner in crime, Zach. Say hi, dude. Hello. Hello. Um, we're here on a lovely sunny day in Cambridge in England, uh, but wherever you're watching this video, we hope that you're having a really nice day and you're about to do something really fun because our theme this week is Make Us Laugh. And so this project is going to be kind of like making uh, scratch chat filters. So if you've ever seen Snapchat, they have filters and things you can put over your photos, and we're going to do the same thing in Scratch. So to do this project, you will need a computer with a webcam in it, uh, if you don't have a webcam, you won't be able to do this one, I'm afraid. Uh, but most laptops and Chromebooks have one built in. Like, even your Chromebook's got camera built in, doesn't it? And we did this one the other day on your Chromebook, and it was pretty cool. Yeah. So um, we're going to show you how to run this project. Uh, and this project is what we call an unlisted project at Raspberry Pi, which means that your project isn't going to be on the project site like usual. But we'll put a URL in this video for you to click so you can get across to the instructions. No problem whatsoever. So we're going to move forward now. I'm going to switch over to our scene so that you can see our scratch project. Uh, and then Zachy's going to take over. So you want to take over, Boone? You can use the actual mouse if you want, man. Fantastic. So um, the first thing we want to do in our project is what? What do we do first? We need to delete our sprite. Yeah, get rid of that smug cat, right? We don't want him here anymore. That's absolutely fine. And so the next thing we want to do is we need to what? We add need to a new add one. a new sprite. Fantastic. And so because we're doing Snapchat filters, so the camera's going to be looking at our faces, or actually Zach's face in this case. Uh, and so we want to have things that will sort of go over those photos. So Zach's going to go to the fashion sprites. And you'll see here, these are things you can put over your face. So we use glasses today because that's the obvious one. So import that sprite, man. You'll see as Zach hovers over, it's changing a whole bunch of costumes. So that's cool. So we've got our glasses there. And what do we need to do next? Becky, do you remember? Need to move to the middle, yeah, that's right. And we want to start getting our video overlay. So to do that, we need to add an extension. So go to the add extension block down there, the little blue one down the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's the one. And the one we want is video sensing. So the one with the hand and the camera, that's it. So once you click it, uh, on your browser, it will possibly ask you for permission. So if you get a little box in the top of your screen that says it wants to use your camera, just click allow, let it do that. And then you'll see, as we have on Scratch, you've got Zach's face in the video there as the camera comes on. So well done, Zachy. That's really good. So if you want to sit nice and comfortably in the screen, so that's just roughly where you'll be, awesome. And then you can move that sprite so that it covers over your face. Whoop, nearly. That's it, cool. And so what do you think we need to do to them a bit? They're not quite big enough, are they? We need to like make them bigger. Yeah, yeah, so let's use the size block underneath the video. That's it. What size do you reckon? It's 100 now. How much bigger do you reckon they need to be? At least 300. No, nah, that'd be massive. We probably only want about 130, to be honest, but that's not bad. So let's see what we get. 130, maybe 140. We can always change the size again. Yeah, hit enter. Bit bigger, what do you reckon? Wait. Mm. That about right? Like Harry Potter. You do look like Harry Potter. <laughs> that or a little bit bigger, you reckon? Like one, 135. Yeah, 135. Here we go. See what it does. A bit bigger. Still a little bit bigger than that, you reckon, or is that good? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. That's fine? Okay, cool. And so now that we've got our glasses and we've got Zach's face in the video, and uh, he can move himself into those glasses there, that's right. Um, what we're going to do next is we've got our Snapchat filter now, we've got our video running, so the next thing we want to do is to be able to change costumes. So the, the, scratch, sorry, the glasses right there comes with a bunch of different costumes. So let's click on our costumes tabs, eh? And you see here, these are all the different types of glasses on the left there. So these are all the different sorts that we have already installed. So if you change costume, just click on any of those costumes, mate, any one you do, just, yep, yeah, cool. And that's like a rabbit mask that Zach can wear. And if we wanted to, we could make that a little bit bigger, couldn't we, Zach? We could make it a bit bigger, but I think that's about right, actually, with the way it is now. What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. You happy with that? Cool, so let's go back to our code, and we'll add some controls that mean we can sort of change that. So let's go to Events, because we want a When button pressed. So what, what key are we going to use? Let's use our left and right arrows. So drag those When Space key pressed in. Drag that one in. Yep, and then we want it to be when our left arrow is pressed. That's it. And then what we want to do is we have our left arrow key pressed. We want to go to our looks, and we want it to change costume. So switch costume to, or, yeah, that's it. Fantastic. And then we can duplicate that one because we're going to do another little cheeky thing with it. So duplicate the whole thing, and change the other one to be right arrow. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is an operator. So we want a plus one and a minus one. So you see at the very top there, plus and minus. So on the left one, the first one there, we want a minus. Yep. 
and then the other one we want to plus. So pop them into where it says glasses. That's it. And then the other one. Fantastic. And let's go back to looks. So we're going to have it change costume in each direction. So what we want is where we say switch costume to something something. If you scroll down a little bit in our, in our looks blocks, you'll see one there that says costume number. So drag costume number into each of the first holes of your green block. That's it. And another one. Cool. And then we just put the number one. So spread them apart a bit so people can see and we'll just clean up your blocks. That's it. And put the number one in both of those. One, that's it, and then number one in the other one. Now, when you push the left and right arrows, you should be able to change what glasses you're wearing. Awesome, that's great, bud. Cool, working, nice. On the way. So the next thing we want to do now is we could do a thing that makes our costumes bigger and smaller. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So add some more of those when key pressed, or we can let's just um, drag them in from the events blocks. That's it. When key pressed, and this time. Uh, let's have, what do you think, up arrow, down arrow maybe? And the next really easy part to do is we go back to looks, man, and you just put change size by. You see one that says change size by? That's it, clip it to both, and then make the down arrow one say minus 10. So when we push up arrow, it will get bigger. And then I leave that one, that was fine. We just want the other one to say minus 10. Because oh, okay. that one, it'll get bigger, right? Change size by 10 yeah. means get bigger. Change size by minus 10 means what? It means you got smaller. Sweet. So let's check it with our down arrows and stuff now. There we go, it gets smaller. We can do the up arrow, and it gets bigger. Nice look, you've got Harry Potter with them, don't you? That's pretty cool. So we've got these now, it's changing size. It's doing all those sorts of cool, funky things that we want it to do. Uh, the next thing we want it to do is we want to try and add like, um, how about some controls that mean we can move the glasses around on the screen? Yeah? So drag them across. So drag some event blocks again. We want some more when key press blocks. Yep, drag Two. that. Four. Okay. Because then we can have it move up and down and left and right, yeah? Wow. Oh. Oop, that's a green flagger. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Nice one. And then the other one. Okay, so let's do old school gamer trick, right? Where you can do W A S D, right? So like when you play Minecraft, and you play games. They're the controls you use for gaming. Up, I, down, left, right. I'm playing on my Chromebook like, something called Crazy Games and all like the Tiger Simulator stuff. So um, W is to walk forward, mm -hmm. A is to jump, S is to go backwards, and I forgot the other. So in, in a lot of um, very popular games, in a lot of like, other games, W, A, S, and D are the way you move your character. So W is yeah. walk forward, S backward, A left, D, right? So we're going to use those to move our glasses around. So if you change all them to W, A, S, and D. A, yeah. Keep going, man. W is at the end of the alphabet, right? Yeah, and then we need the last one to be S. Cool. And so what we want now is we need to go to motion because we want it to move, don't we? So since we want it to move around the screen, what we're going to do is change X and change Y. So let's start with the A. A is to move down, right? So if you think about on your video screen over here, so if you move your mouse to where our video is so people can see what we're talking about, so where your face is in the corner there, right? So on our stage, you can see that we have like coordinates and you'll see just here, uh, we've got X and Y, and you see X is sideways and Y is up and down. So what we want is our A is down. So which one do we want to change? The Y. The Y, and do we want it to go up or down? Down. My man. So grab your change Y by and click that to the bottom of your A. And now we want it to go down. So do we want it to say change Y by 10 or what? Minus 10. Minus 10. Well done, bud. Minus 10. Hit enter. Awesome. And now we've got the next one is D. So that's, if you have a look, that means go change to the right. X. Excellent, mate. Well done. So change X oh, there it is. by 10. That's perfectly fine. Now we want S. What does that one do? Turn right. Turn right. So we want our change X by, well, S is down, isn't it? So what have we got wrong on our A? We don't want to change our Y. We want to change our X. X. So grab that one and clip to the bottom of our S. Great, and then go to our A, so that wants us to go left. No, that's fine, you can leave that one. We want to change our X by minus 10 underneath A. Ooh, that's set X, we want to change X. Fabulous, that's it, click under the A, and we want it to be minus 10. 
And then with our W, we want it to be change Y by plus 10. So now when you push WASD on the keyboard, Zach, does it move the little? It does, look. Shifts it around so we can move it so that it sits over your face now when you're comfortable. So see if you can get the glasses to sit over your eyes. There we go. Awesome, well done. Yeah, look at that. All right, we can make it bigger. Yeah, look, Harry Potter styles. That's really cool, man, that's awesome. So we've got them moving, we've got them shifting, we've got our live video, which is pretty awesome. The next thing we can do is we can like add color filters and stuff to our work. So let's go and do that now. We'll add some color filters to our project. So we need to click on the stage and the backdrop. Okay, so click on the stage for me, Zach, and the backdrop, and then we'll go into our, so on the right there, underneath the up a bit, you wanna click on where the backdrop currently is. Up, 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 up where it says backdrops. That's it, click on that. And then over here on the backdrops tab, Fantastic, and so we need to convert to bitmap because what happens there is from a vector image, a vector image is a different kind of picture. A bitmap is made up of loads and loads of dots, right, like pixels that don't move. A vector is made up of a whole bunch of, for ease of explanation, maths, which means we can make it any size we like. I don't like maths. Okay, you, don't, you do like maths? No. No, you don't, why not? You're this boring. This boring. <laughs> what about coding? That's fun. Yeah, it's fun, right? So, you know that coding has loads of maths in it though, right? Like all that stuff with X and Y we just did, that was all maths. Yeah. You know that's maths, right? Yeah, that's maths. <laughs> Got ya. So you can pick a colour, man. Use the bucket, so the paint bucket. Yeah. Yep, and then up the top where it says fill, you can pick the colour you want the background to be. It's totally up to you, man. Use that top slider or click inside the slider somewhere to get red. to a colour. That's red, yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Awesome. And then so if you... Oh, it's a bit dark. Cool. If you click in the screen now, inside where your backdrop is, yep, changes it all orange. You see how it shifted our color? So you could take that fill now, try a different color and see what, see if you can. Nice. So you can change that color anytime you like, right? Like you can change that to be any color you want. Just pick a different color and click in the box. Bam. Awesome, man. Great work. Okay, so we've done that part now. So what we want to get to is the next little bit of our project is we want to change the filter color and filter amount. So we're going to make two new variables, man. What color is our variables menu? Do you remember? Orange. Orange, fantastic. So click on variables and we're going to make two new variables. Okay, so up top make a variable. I want to make one called filter amount. Can you type that in for me? Oh, yep, amount. Brill, hit enter. And make one new one and call it filter color. Awesome. So now we've got these two variables here, right? And we can make some code so that when our project starts up, we can hit a green flag and it will turn our project on, it will turn the video on, uh, and then forever it will change our transparency and it will change the color of that filter that we've just added to our work. So if you go up to where it says filter amount and filter color and you double click on them, click it, double click it again, okay. yep, and we get a slider. Oh, there we go, and that's it, excellent. Double click that one as well so it looks the same. One more. Cool. And so now we can, when we get to, once we've written our code, we can use those sliders to change the color and stuff. Right? We can just slide that thing up and down and it will mess with the color. Try. It won't work yet. We haven't Thanks. put any code on. But let's make some code, yeah? And then it will work. So grab a when green flag clicked. It's our golden events block. Awesome. We want to grab one of our extension blocks now, our video sensing blocks. And this one should be turn video on. So as soon as we click green flag, our project will start. And if you've got a webcam, it will switch your video on so people can see what's going on. The next part we want is a forever block. So as soon as our video is on, we want it to forever be paying attention to what this next part is. Grab another one of our green video sensing blocks, mate. And this one should be, yep, set video transparency to. And then we want a, a looks one, which is our color effect. So set color effect to. Yep, and clip that underneath. That's the one. And then go back to your, that's it, perfect. And your variables list now. We're gonna plug in those variables you made so that they'll work. So the green one, you want filter amount, and in the purple one, you want filter color. So that's these little round blocks up here. You see where they fit in the little round holes. Not that one, next one down. Oh. Perfect. And then the other one, no, no, underneath. So grab that one out, put it in the bottom one. That's okay, man, don't worry about it. Excellent. So now if you play with the sliders now, 
Hmm. Does anything happen? What about filter color? Nothing yet. Interesting. Let's see. Ah, you know why? What did we forget to click? This. Yeah, typical. Oh, mate. It's a Sunday afternoon. That's what it is. We both just need a nap, oh I think. God. Right, so that's what does that do? When you change the filter amount, what does it do? It makes it like. It makes like really. Well, same color, but. Mm. It, it makes it very opaque, right? So yeah. you can't see through it, right? So transparent and opaque are two very different things at the opposite ends of the scale. So transparent is all the way see through. So what's this? Uh, did it make it like lighter or something? Uh, change the filter amount to something a bit higher. There we go. Now change that. Uh, you see? Change the color. Uh, you get it? Nice one, right? So that's pretty cool. We can change the filter color. Uh, we can move our like um, glasses up and down using W, A, S, and D and all those sorts of things. So what we'll do is the next step on our project is to step through uh, and add some randomness to that sort of that color thing. So we've got filter color and filter amount. So we could pick a button on the keyboard like space. Should we use the space bar? Yeah. When space key pressed. So if you go to events, yep. and let's go when space key pressed. So grab your variables. Yeah, and so go set filter amount at top one, clip it under space, and then grab it again, grab another one the same and change that bottom one to filter color. Clip it on the bottom. Cool, and then connect it. Great, and now let's grab those random numbers. Yep, and then one in the other one as well. Cool, so how high can your filter amount go? What's the highest number? 100. 100, so pop that in the top. Randomness, we want one to 100. And do you remember what the top filter color is? How how high it goes? This one. Yeah. Hundred as well. Hundred as well. You sure? Oh, I'm not double check. Yep. Cool. And so now, when you push spacebar, what happens? I'm gonna go back to zero. Okay. Oh. Hit it again. And again. And again, cool, we've got some randomness. We could also, what else could we do? What, you've got those glasses on. I mean, we've got other options, don't we, look? My favorite one of them is probably the bunny. You like the bunny? Okay, so could we put a space key in where it chooses a random pair of glasses for you to put on? Yeah. How? So you go back to pick random? Yeah, we need a random block, so dump that on the table. What else would we need to connect to the bottom? What are we changing? On our glasses, what's the thing we're changing? Uh, look. The looks, and what is it that's being switched? Why don't we have the right thing? Why don't we have the costumes for our glasses? Why do you think we're not getting the right stuff we want? Where's our code going? Um, onto the backdrop. Dang, what do we need to select? Yeah, now we're talking. So now we can make that code do our thing. So let's go to spacebar. Add another space key pressed. Wow, we're doing a lot of them. It's okay. And we want it to go to our looks now and we should have the right blocks. There we go. So we want to switch costume to. And then what do we need? So we've got four costumes. We need a random block. And what will be the high number? One, two. 100. Well, we don't have 100 costumes. How many costumes have we got? Four. Cool. Awesome. So now when you push space bar, what happens? Boom. Um. Keep going. There we go. Um. All right, because you've only got four. Remember, true randomness doesn't mean a different thing every time, right? What it means is, it means don't you don't, coming. right. So it could be the same thing a few times in a row, right? Like when you flip a coin, randomness doesn't mean it's going to go heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. That's the opposite of random, that's a pattern. So that's really cool, like we've done our little Snapchat filter program. What sort of things do you think we can add? So like when I come back later and I do those the, the bonus features videos I usually do, what do you reckon we could add to this project that might be cool? And I'll start doing some videos for people. We can like go onto the internet and find different glasses. Nice, we could find that's a bunch of different costumes. Done, um, we did that yesterday, didn't we? We found a few different things. Okay, I'll do another video for everybody where I can have some different costumes and we can have some other things on there. What else? What other things do you reckon I could do? 
We could make it play crazy sounds, couldn't we? Yeah, we could do a few different things. But uh, that's the basic Scratch Chat project. Um, and I'll come back and do some bonus features videos for the people a bit later. But was there anything that you wanted to say about the project? Did you find it tricky or easy or...? Uh, it was not like tricky or easy, it was like in, somewhere in the middle. Sort of in the middle, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit different to the ones we've done before because we're sort of working with the video extension, right? Which is a bit fiddly to start with when you've got to keep moving your face and things. Right? And we got caught up because we had the wrong thing selected, didn't we? We had our backdrop selected instead of our sprite, so that's a good thing to remind people of. Okay, so that's okay. it. Okay. Nice. And then we hit space. All right. So if you sit in front of it, that you see, so you're in the right place. All right. And then I'll go. Awesome. I like that one. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do? Um, that's it for today, man. That was a nice quick one, wasn't it? You can go back outside and jump on the trampoline now and enjoy the sunshine. How's that? That was fun. That was fun, right? Awesome. Thanks, bud. That was really cool. We'll catch you later. See you later, everybody. Remember, we want to see your work, so submit it to us at rpf.io slash home. Uh, let us know what great stuff you're making at home. And uh, hopefully you can get out and enjoy the sunshine like we're about to. So catch you later, everybody. Bye.